So well, when when we say words are powerful, it's people usually tend to you know take it in a spiritual content or some stuff like that. But you're talking about constantly hearing something. You know that begins to imprint in your mind. There are people who don't who think that the 24 hours is not enough for them. But there are some people who also take that time for granted. And it's like when you are idle, you don't value time. Hello, guys. Welcome to another exciting episode on your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. It has been a long time since we've been on here. Long yeah, we went for a short break to, you know, re re-strategize and refresh things so now we are here with another banker you know yeah sir Charlie, how have you been it's been good not too bad um it's been a busy couple of weeks yeah like with new studies coming up and a few things um being put in place but it's been, it's been good yeah fantastic you um i've been okay very busy like you rightly said school stuff work stuff but we are back. We are back again. We are back on your screens. We are back. What do we have today? So today we are discussing something centered around um, individuals' progress and mm. the things that undermine people's progress. There are a number of things, but one very particular thing that we've, we've been talking about lately is self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. And how it undermines people's success in life. What is self-sabotage? So self-sabotage um, in brief terms yeah. are actions, yeah. mostly intentional, but sometimes can be unintentional. So yeah. there are actions or inactions which are intentional that people do, which undermines their progress or their success in life. So um, it prevents them from achieving their goals or their objectives in life. So whatever your objective is, is if it can be in health, education, your work, family goals, but anything that you do or you don't do that's undermined that progress can be self-sabotage. Yeah. yeah. And I think self-sabotage can be intentional or unintentional. Unintentional. Yeah. Um, I think an example that immediately comes to mind is procrastination. Procrastination. See, procrastination is, I think everyone struggles with it. Like, you know there's a deadline, you know there's something you need to do, but you feel you have time, you feel it can wait, and you're like, okay, I'll do this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. An example was, I think during last trimester, there was an assignment that I had to submit. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this one, oh, this one. Bro, I tell you, <laughs> it was just a few hours to the deadline, and I was shaking yeah. when I was completing the assignment. I was like, what am I doing to myself? You know, I, I I don't know if it was as a result of procrastination, but I remember you telling me that a few hours to the submission, yeah. someone posted in your group that yeah. they wanted an extension <laughs> of the deadline. I was like, what? Why do you wait till, yeah. you know? Yeah, and procrastination, they say it's a, it's a thief of time. Absolutely. Like, I know I'm liable to it, mm. so I try as much as possible to avoid it because it's it's not helped me it's not it's not like it's you become ineffective and you are unable to do things right like absolutely things that um you're unable to meet good standards mm -hmm. you you definitely get the thing done because we are used to doing things in a right there are some people that they need that adrenaline pressure yeah, yeah. but you do it and you don't do it well mm -hmm. enough so it's better to do it gradually and get time to make corrections and adjustments than just waiting for the last minute and then one thing you realize that when you procrastinate mm -hmm. the time that you didn't do the thing you wanted to do you waste that time you of don't course, you don't you do, didn't anything, even do but, anything productive that is it. you get it like yeah. you just wait, wasted that entire time yeah. and now there's a lot of pressure on yourself yeah. and the thing is like you rightly said at one point you might get away with it mm -hmm. and manage to get something mm -hmm. done but as it compounds, as you know, it builds up. Mm -hmm. You are setting yourself up. Uh, you you setting yourself up to fail, yeah. really. Because mind with you, procrastination. there are yeah. people that like someone like Elon Musk. Mm. Uh, we say he works more than the average CEO. 
there are people who don't who think that the 24 hours is not enough for them hmm. but there are some people who also take that time for granted and Absolutely. it's like when you are idle you don't value time yeah. when you you've not got anything doing or you don't find something meaningful you don't value time but when you have a lot on your hands Absolutely. when you are being productive mm-hmm. you you want like the time that you are using you feel that it's not enough because you want more time to accomplish the things you're doing yeah, yeah. De- so de- de- definitely and and i think aside procrastination another thing will be low self-esteem low self-esteem that is a very big <laughs> problem low self-esteem um so I- i'll take it from two fronts right yeah. so low self-esteem can be on the front of childhood like growing up mm. your experience from childhood can um impose low self-esteem on you yeah. and then I'll put it in the context of relationship as well. Mm. So in terms of childhood, there are many children because of their backgrounds, like they grew up in very poor homes, right? Yeah. And um, they had very difficult upbringing. When they grow up or in their formative years once, they, they're going to high school, primary school, going to high school, they don't want to enter the limelight. Mm. They don't go for anything challenging. They, they think that they deserve the least. Oh, no. This thing is reserved for the privileged few or, or the rich people yeah. or people who are better than myself, you know. And then they they prevent themselves from achieving, mm. you know. Yep. So, and sometimes we, we've had people where children where their parents have said, you're not good enough. You are this, you are that. In our typical Ghanaian homes, more than 50 percent of parents have insulted their yeah. children in one way or the other constantly abused. you're very stupid yeah. you are this like the little mistake you do so oh you are, you are too dull you i don't see you going far in life and then they don't go far yeah you know, words are powerful one way or parents the other. are saying it teachers are saying it because of maybe not doing well in the class mm. they downgrade you and they demoralize you such mm-hmm. a child grows up with a scar in his heart and in his mind that I won't amount to nothing, um, to anything, yep. right? They end up engaging in social vice because, after all, no, you, you, you guys are the the intelligent ones, or you mm. are the good ones. For for us, we don't do anything, so we are not going anywhere. And the child doesn't force to get anywhere; he becomes an adult and f- becomes the same person, absolutely, right? And in relationship, there are some people who have low self esteem. They have self doubt, low self confidence because of past relationships. So especially this happens a lot to women where in their past relationship probably they've been abused by uh, their men mm. or they've been in relationships where the men have have not treated them right mm. now they get men who treat them right or partners who treat them right but they are not able to value it because yeah, they're they not feel able that, to reciprocate that oh, energy. I, I i've always been abused so i, I can't appreciate genuine love mm. all right so such such people get genuine people and they cheat on them they abuse them they don't respect them yeah. because like oh they've they've not had that experience of something yeah. nice or something valuable right uh-huh. and it affects their social relationships as well so even if someone comments you oh, you're looking beautiful today they don't want to believe he it. or she has not had that experience yeah, of that, that's be- the thing. hearing something yeah. nice so you so know when when we say words are powerful it's people usually tend to you know take it in a spiritual context or some stuff like that but you're talking about constantly hearing something you yeah. know that begins to imprint in your mind so you you constant that is why the people who um you know they've got this is it positive confession or something yeah. like that women affirmations have, and those yeah things, positive yeah. affirmations so that you're constantly conditioning your mind mm-hmm. to these things when it comes to it's sometimes not from um childhood trauma or toxic relationship it's sometimes about how you project mm-hmm. yourself okay yeah. and i always want to make this example and i'm i'm really going to try to tread cautiously let's talk about um international nurses for example we international nurses we're just coming some people come in and they feel like they can't move on to other things they feel like they've come in for nursing. You know, the minority. So exactly, we are the. They allow that whole racism thing to get to them, mm-hmm. and you know, people tell other people that oh, this place. 
even when you apply for a position, you won't get it, you won't get it mm-hmm. because you are black and all that. And so that deters people from moving on. Mm-hmm. The thing you need to understand is you've come, you're already practicing as a nurse from elsewhere. Mm-hmm. You are not here to start afresh. Mm-hmm. You are here to continue on your career. Mm-hmm. So if you've worked, uh, say, back in Ghana for 10 years on the ward, and now you've got here, you want to do something else. You don't need to wait for another two, three, four, five years no. to say, I want to move up and so on. And another thing would be arrival mentality. See, that thing, like, I'll, you I'll, feel you have reached. There are there's so many people. <laughs> there are people who can't afford two square meals. Yeah. But the little they have, what they get a, a one-bedroom and they are, they are okay. Nobody in my house has built a one-bedroom house. So if I've built a one-bedroom house it. and I'm surviving on one square, yeah. that, that is it for me, you know. And it's it comes from a host of factors. Me, I attribute that mostly to upbringing mm. and the kind of people we associate, associate us. with. Yeah. Uh, so in our pre- one of our videos, we talked about how our environment influences us. Yeah. When you stay in a place for a long time, it deconditions you. It mm-hmm. sets like... It places a cap on you. Yep. It doesn't. Um, you are not. Your eyes are not, or your mindset is not open to bigger things, mm-hmm. right? And then, um, I've always been saying that we have a problem. Some of our leaders have problems of mediocrity. Yeah. Like I don't see a reason why you would, you you get, let's say, this laptop, mm. an HP laptop, where an HP laptop is a basic thing for kids in other countries yeah. and you get an hp laptop for maybe parliament and you think that is it i'm, I'm using that just yeah, as an example. an example yeah there are bigger things that people we see in our lives or in our parts of the world where we think oh this is it and we are we are throwing parties for and yeah. those things are basic necessities yeah. now um coming to the uk there are people who Upon arrival here, I'm earning two thousand pounds. I'm earning thousand eight hundred pounds. That is it. I'm good. How much is it in Ghana? Ah, I'm it's a rich nearly, man. I'm a it's nearly forty k. So, <laughs> what? Yeah. The, how many months would it take the average yeah. nurse back home to earn that kind of money? But it's it's nothing. She Once your it. your goals and your aims are have a limit. Yeah, that is it. That is it. You 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 can't go beyond what you see yourself most definitely so arrival mentality gets rid of it like Mm -hmm. don't ever settle and feel like where i am i'm comfortable always look for opportunities always look for other Mm -hmm. things because if not you will regret it someday Mm -hmm. and that is what what sometimes cause you know jealousy enviness among friends and because you'd feel like oh i'm okay this Mm -hmm. way but you see another person do the be like and you think you why know, should that why person should I, get that? you get it but you're self-sabotaging yourself yeah you feel like you won't get it so you didn't go for it someone else goes for it and it now becomes an issue and mm-hmm. then there are people who want to be perfectionists so just before we move to the yeah. perfectionists about the arrival mentality yeah you don't help yourself and you don't help the world because sometimes we come into this world with um potentials absolutely that's a reason why god created mm-hmm. us and then god has given you the ability to probably develop or you are the person that is going to take us to pluto yeah. or discover something but you you place a cap on yourself you are not able to deliver that mandate god has given you to the world you are not able to impact more mm-hmm. so break out of your your shelves just explore bring out something there's a lot we can do I, i'm just trying to um just trigger that that kind of zeal in us that there's more we can do than what we are doing now and there's more we can achieve because we are in this world not for ourselves alone but for our generations and to impact the the world in in the larger stage yeah and then perfectionism you see um it's good to have goals okay Mm -hmm. it's good to have plans Mm -hmm. it's good to structure things in place and wish that if this thing gets to this level or if I get to this thing, I want to do this, I want to do that. But not everything can fall into place the mm-hmm. way you want it before you make a move. Yeah. Okay. Like you say, oh, um, I want to get £10,000 and then I go back home and I raise a 5000 uh, what's it called? A five-story house or something like that. See, start from somewhere. Yeah. 
get if you have enough money get it for the land mm. then build on the next thing mm. then build on the next mm. thing then build on the next thing you can't have everything perfect mm. it, you can't have all the pieces together at the same you time you don't make progress in that Do way you get it you don't you don't make progress because you don't see the beauty in the the, the little process, things yeah. yes you you don't and then it's it limits you it, it limits you in a way because sometimes starting from the basic or just giving um opportunity for mistakes helps you learn mm -hmm. right if you want to get everything right sometimes you take too long to achieve that thing that something that could have been done in days you spend months doing it and you become less productive Absolutely. it can become perfect but within that time that uh let's say the one month you sp you spent working on that same thing mm. which was equally good yeah which could have helped some some people and then we improve on it you would have wasted that that time let's say it should have taken seven days yeah. you do it within one month you've wasted 21 or 22 days which yeah. could have been used to accomplish other tasks yeah yeah so uh, i i don't think that getting all the pieces together and having it all figured out no. will always i don't be think way. anything worked out even with the first uh, bulb we, we had yeah i think when it, when it came out it was too hot but yeah. then they improved on it imagine that the people who made discoveries yeah. they wanted to make it perfect yeah. we wouldn't have got where we are iphone started if if we see the first model of iphone i don't think yeah. now anybody anybody exactly. would have wanted to use it but it's, it had to start from somewhere mm -hmm. and then it improves and i think that for perfectionists proper perfectionists they some people set on <laughs> unrealistic, unrealistic goals standards unrealistic expectations especially women yeah <laughs> you know because you I, i think these days it's very popular on social media to hear women spell out a list of the kind of things they want in their perfect mm -hmm. man mm -hmm. before they would even accept mm -hmm. you to a talking mm -hmm. say bro bro and even bro. in yourself there are people who don't feel confident in themselves like yeah. with with regard to physique so going through a lot of body modifications yeah. right sometimes you do it if you are a perfectionist you do it to the extreme and you end up destroying that thing yeah exactly if you're perfectionist, most times you end up destroying that thing it's something that could have been very simple you you end up destroying it because you went to the extreme you stretched it beyond its um abilities so we just have to appreciate it's, yeah. it's all about appreciation so with perfectionism i think that sometimes setting smaller goals you yeah. can have a broader a goal broader, absolutely but sometimes you you set the the broader goal leave it there break it down and yeah. start gradually yeah all right then talking about low self-esteem mm -hmm. With with all had a fair share of a trauma or a bad experience in our childhood. Yeah. I tell you, I suffered from low self esteem for a very long time yeah. in uh, senior high school, and but at a point in time, I realized that I wasn't doing anybody good, yeah. right? And I started to read how do I overcome this. So finding information. Yeah. You first have to diagnose yourself, know that there's a problem, and then you find information how to get over it. So probably speaking to somebody, seeking therapy, and even friends. Yeah. Like just discuss with friends. There's someone who might help you. Talk to your parents. Talk to somebody you can confide in. Maybe a mentor. Yeah. I think mentorship will help with um, th these kind of things. And if it's a relationship problem. You don't let anybody undermine you. You don't. Fine, that guy say said you are not good enough or you are cheap or what. That is him. Move on to the next thing. You get a good man, accept that person, try to appreciate it and leave the moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then um, what else? Pretty much. My last words will be on um, you know when it comes to procrastination, you should always try to get things done in mm -hmm. time. To allow time for you to make adjustments mm -hmm. if needed, yeah. okay. Because if you finish it on the deadline, assuming then there's no chance for you to improve upon yeah. yourself. Do you get it? Yeah. So always try to attain that level of consistency when it comes to completing tasks, and that is a way of you setting yourself up for success. And um, um, one other thing I would say is that yeah, 
things that we ignore the little they said the little foxes destroy the vine yeah. right absenteeism like frequent lateness yeah like um that is with regards to work and productivity yeah. like you are like you, you say that oh maybe i'm late sometimes we, we can be late sometimes but if it's always you don't see it as a problem but then it becomes a problem when it accumulates so those little things like you are always late yeah. you are uh you don't do things on time yeah. you are like you ignore Petty, petty things. You know, definitely they are they are not good. Yeah. But then you think this one doesn't hurt anybody. In the long run, it affects work. It affects yourself. And there are people who are suffering probably ob- obesity. Yeah. And you know that you have to cut down on your carbohydrates. You have to eat healthy diet and all those things. But some people intentionally eat the unhealthy diet, though they know that they need that healthy yeah. diet. Someone who is like me can probably afford to eat some of these things but when you know yourself that you are yeah. suffering with obesity you yeah. don't end up doing things like everybody else Absolutely. all right because those things undermine your health as well so yeah, yeah. i think we've we've covered enough mm-hmm. we've cut it we've covered enough and in subsequent episodes we'll probably pick out these individual bits and discuss yeah. them in, in further detail yeah. Yeah. yeah guys thank you so much for joining us today if it's the first time you're watching us Welcome to the family and to our subs- uh, returning subscribers. Thank you so, so much for still sticking with us. Until we catch you on the next episode, peace out. Peace.